When it's in the snow, it accumulates a pigment, like sunscreen, to protect itself from the light intensity. Like us, when we go skiing, or even here, today, we are getting sunburnt and we use sunscreen. The algae, to protect themselves, well we think it's for this, because we don't have the proof yet, accumulate this red pigment that overcomes the green. So they are fundamentally green, but it's hidden behind a big shield of red pigments. What we also know is that with time, when the level of CO2 increases in the atmosphere, we find red snow more often. So it's likely linked to global warming, and the warmer it is, the more algae there are, and the more the snow melts quickly. il y en a beaucoup. Euh, la première question à laquelle on veut répondre euh, d'un point de vue écologique plutôt, c'est d'où ces algues viennent en fait. Parce que euh, en montagne, on, on a des, des neiges blanches ou euh, légèrement colorées à cause du sable, euh, mais d'un coup, on commence à retrouver ces algues, ces, ces spots rouges, ces, ces points rouges. Euh, où elles étaient avant, c'est la grosse question. Euh, c'est pour ça qu'on travaille aussi sur le sol. 